the United Nations General Assembly always provides an opportunity for the President to put the international situation in context and to put forward a vision of U.S. leadership, and that's what he will do tomorrow. I would expect the President to address the recent unrest in, in the Muslim world uh, and the broader context of the democratic transitions in the Arab world. Uh, as he has in recent days, uh, the President will make it clear that we reject the views uh, in uh, the video that has uh, caused offense in the Muslim world, while also underscoring that violence is never acceptable, a message that has been echoed by the leaders he has personally reached out to uh, in, the pla in places like Le uh, Egypt, Libya, and Yemen. He will also send a clear message that the United States will never retreat from the world. The United States will bring justice to those who harm Americans, and the United States will stand strongly for our democratic values abroad. With respect to Iran, uh, we have consistently framed that issue around Iran's profound failure to meet its international obligations with respect to its nuclear program. Therefore, the uh, United Nations General Assembly presents uh, – the, the UNGA uh, presents another opportunity for him to underscore that Iran must not be allowed to develop a nuclear weapon. It is a real opportunity. The President always looks forward to the opportunity to, to address uh, the General Assembly. As you recall from last year, he gave a very important speech uh, where he made clear uh, the United States' uh, uh, positions with regard to uh, Middle East peace process. And uh, it's a real – moment uh, for the United States to assert uh, its values and its leadership role, uh, to make clear where we stand uh, uh, in the midst of this remarkable period of transformation in the Arab world, how uh, U.S. leadership uh, combined with the leadership of other nations is uh, helping the peoples of that region overcome decades of tyranny and move towards uh, democratic forms of government that are more responsive to their aspirations uh, that respect uh, the rights of women and minorities.